This is more than serious. Even children, even came prepared. See face mask, see glasses. Hey, voila. So thanks guys for coming out. Uh, again, this is a very peaceful demonstration. And very thrilled, adrenaline is just rushing us here to And uh, this out! I'm fighting for the people who are going to be yeah, after me. What you are, what you are, what you are. <laughs> so it's it's it's, it's my uh, shine man. So uh, as you can see, Nico Komariamu. This feels amazing. Have you have you guys ever been here? This this is just this is just fantastic. Uh, I, I I prefer you guys mushikwa si wata tupeleko kuko penye wana peleka watu alafu wa wengine wata 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 wata. <laughs> oh, I love I, I also I, I also I also my guy just used English and composure uh, yeah. to escape. Hey, this is another style. Show me your ways. <laughs> God, uh, God, uh, still remain peaceful. Still remain peaceful. Still remain peaceful. I've been running. I'm feeling like Kipchoge right now. Uh -huh. The vibe is giving Kipchoge. Kenya, aka Cruise Nation. Guys. Oh, this got to be a joke. Like, where? Guys, please check on my brother. Or maybe this horse has taken him to Ghana by now. Kenyans are suffering. Kenyans are tired of being taxed. And if we cannot listen to the Kenyans who are tired of being taxed, we have no business being in this house.
the Kenyans. Hey there, welcome back to the channel. Thank you so much for tuning in. How are you guys doing? Hope you're keeping safe. Hope you're good. Um, please pardon me. <coughs> I have flu. Ah, you guys, I haven't been feeling too well, coupled with what has been happening. Like it hits me really hard. I just maybe remember <coughs> what happened in Nigeria, like during the NSAS protest. And I'm like, oh God, not again. Like it just took me down memory lane. Anyway, I pray for the best. I pray things get better. So I've been receiving some messages, some very, very stupid messages from people. And they are like, okay, <clears throat> this Kenya that you're always praising, see what is happening now. I thought Kenya is a perfect country. Like, are you kidding me right now? Kenya, this Kenya, that Kenya, you will not let us rest. Mama Kenya. <laughs> They've even turned me to Mama Kenya. <laughs> oh my goodness. Have I ever come on my channel to tell you people that Kenya is a perfect country? Like, where is the perfect country? Look around, tell me which country is perfect. Even the so-called developed country, they have their challenges, they strike, they protest. It's their civic responsibility. If things are not going on well, they have the right to hit the streets and protest. Okay, so I, I, I can't remember coming on my channel to say that Kenya is a perfect country. It's not a perfect country. They have their challenges. They have things they need to deal with, like they have issues. Okay, the only place that is perfect is heaven. Okay. Aside that, if you're on earth, expect to see imperfection, imperfect human beings, imperfect things. So I don't know where this whole perfection is coming from. Or are they trying to be sarcastic or what? I don't get it. So I'm coming here to address that. And then there are this second group of people that are like, they are really bothered. I know you love Kenya so much. And this country is really dear to your hearts. We've heard of what is happening, but we don't really know exactly what is happening. But we pray for the best. We pray things get better. And I'm like, okay, at least this ones they are reasonable. <laughs> they have sense. They're just hearing about tax, but they don't really know what is happening. So I don't really know much, but um, thank God I have Kenyan subscribers. They are going to help me down in the comment section to clarify some things but from my own understanding based on what i've heard uh, from people and from my research and from you know watching stations and all i've been able to gather some information as you already know that there's a fierce protest across kenya it started in nairobi cbd and you know other counties as well they are protesting as a result of the government's um, efforts to increase taxes and the reason they are increasing these taxes because they want to cop the national debt and pay back its lenders, that's including China and International Monetary Fund. So they are saying that the debt is too much. They need to pay that debt. So that was what led to the protest. Now, the thing is that um, according to some Kenyans, they are not against taxes, you know, because even developed countries, they pay they, they pay tax right like you actually need tax to run the um, country you need tax okay most of these developed countries why things are working for them why they have a working system is because of this tax <clears throat> so they are not even disputing the fact that tax is important but their complaint is the mismanagement or misappropriation of funds Okay, that is their complaint. They are like, okay, even if you're going to tax us, we want to know what this tax is for. And then tell us how this money is being spent. Now, some people are even angry that, okay, we are talking about tax, tax, tax. Meanwhile, there's high rate of unemployment. People are living in poverty. The little that they have, you now want to tax. One of the things that triggered some citizens was when the president hired a private luxury jet to go to the USA for $1.5 million instead of using the national airline for about $500,000. And they are like, okay, you're talking about using the citizens tax like to pay these debts. You're still um, spending money unnecessarily. You know, if we are going to pay the tax you two should also lead by example it's called leadership by example you should also do the same right 
all those unnecessary allowances, house maintenance, uh, what they call it, furniture allowance, all those things, you need to cut it. Some persons are like, okay, you're talking about tax, tax, tax. All these countries that are paying tax, they have a working system. People get employed, people are working, so it's easier to tax those people because they are working. But here we are unemployed. The little that we make, you still want to collect from us. They feel that this is just the way of torturing them. So that is what has made a lot of people angry. And the Gen Zs, they took it upon themselves to lead this protest why the millennials and the alpha generation follow even the children are not left behind i was shocked i saw a child <laughs> he came out as well <laughs> oh my goodness kenyans you passed something else i've never seen anything like this during the entire protest in nigeria it wasn't like this i've never seen people that are so resilient like people are not scared someone <laughs> Someone cracked a joke and said the only things Kenyans are scared of is marriage. They are scared of marriage or having babies and then low battery and no data bundles. They are scared of all this. Is. But see any other thing? Uh, they are not. Does the pressure increase or decrease? If you know, you know. <laughs> anyway, mm, you guys, this is not a laughing matter. But then some of the videos you see online, you are like, come oh kenyans i've never seen it you pass something else way guy hey god i beg in my next life i want to be kenyan wow do you know that i don't even know how they got their numbers like the mps members of parliament they got their numbers they got their address even their children down to their children they got their numbers asking and telling them not to vote in favor of that they shouldn't vote yes like <laughs> how far are you guys good <laughs> so this is the national assembly finance committee chairman kimani korea he disclosed that he received 168,000 kenyan shillings from kenyans who sent him money ranging from one kenyan shillings to 10 kenyan shillings as they sought to confirm his number he revealed details before the floor of the national assembly as he moved the finance bill 2024 for the second reading which opens room for debates on the provisions of the bill some of the kenyans were generous to send us one shilling to ten shillings to confirm whether our numbers were authentic i have written to the clerk already wondering what to do with the money so this was what he said and then some Kenyans were like, ooh, Kenyans don't disappoint. They needed to confirm their numbers. That was why they sent that money. And they are like, if they can contribute for that, that President Ruto should just tell them, how much is the debt? They are ready to pay. <laughs> that all the Kenyans will contribute money and pay that debt that he shouldn't tax them. He should not tax anybody. They are going to pay that debt since that is their problem since their problem is to pay the debt they should put the account number they should make it public so that everybody will contribute and everybody will have rest everybody will go and sleep and move on with their lives <laughs> hey kenya this tenacity this ruggedity hey hey i'm not even understanding anyway the government has offered some concessions but it hasn't eased the tension president ruto made amendments to dropping levies on bread vegetable oil sugar financial services motor vehicle tax proposing instead to increase fuel prices but they are saying that they don't want it amended they want it totally rejected and these gens is like they mean it they mean it like every word and nothing seems to deter them from exercising their constitutional right until the government scraps its plan to raise taxes like they, they are not having it they don't want it at all all let's rub minds what do you think some people are like they shouldn't cause chaos by them demonstrating they are disrupting businesses that before you know it there's going to be looting and all that instead of them doing that they should just exercise patience like they've made that mistake they should exercise patience 
in 2027, they can now decide to vote right, like vote the right person. But for now, they should just hold their peace and let things happen. Okay? So some people are of that opinion. What do you think? Because uh, God, God have mercy on us. I just pray everything goes well. I just pray we just find a middle ground. I, pr I pray we get a closure to all of this. And, you know, we continue our businesses. We go back to our normal way of life. Um, that's just my prayer. Another school of thought, they feel that it's not bad. It's people's rights to exercise their constitutional rights. So they are really angry at how the police is handling the whole protest stuff. Now, why are they arresting peaceful protesters? Why are they using tear gas? Why are they using water cannons on them? That they should let them do their thing. And some people are like, no, it's order from above. If they see future danger, if they see that there's going to be violence, they should arrest those people involved. So they need to make sure that everything is ordered. But some people are like, these people are peaceful. They didn't do anything. In fact, they were even chanting, we are peaceful, we are peaceful. So why are the police arresting them, using tear gas on them? I learned that um, it even affected some pupils in a school at CBD. So I don't know. Let me know your thoughts about this whole stuff in the comment section. So I'm seeing tax on bread, tax on cancer treatment. Like seriously, Lord have mercy. Anyway, tax on cooking oil, tax on diapers, digital tax. Yes, this particular one is really affecting the Gen Zs. Because of high rate of unemployment, they decided to gain employment. They decided to create an opportunity for themselves by making use of um, the space on the internet, using the opportunity to become content creators and the little that they earn. For example, like YouTube, you're going to be tasked and I tell you that task, hmm, and then your country will not task you on top. So they are like, where? You see how we are struggling to create content. You see how painful it is. You see, we have to, sometimes we have sleepless night brainstorming. What content do I put out there? You know, editing, creativity. Some people spend money buying the gadgets and all of that. They are going to get tasked by that um, social media, whatever. And then the government still wants to tax them why so they are really pain anyway let's move on they've actually done the first reading the second reading the third reading is going to happen on tuesday then the presidential ascent before they make it a law so fingers crossed we are praying and my prayers are with you guys i pray all goes well and mr speaker i want to declare my interest as a former user of sanitary towels, and as dynasty, as a former user of uh, diapers, and as a future user of diapers. Because as a woman, once you get menopausal, you will have leaks, and you will use diapers. And Mr. Speaker, uh, I want to say, uh, not, it's not all women, so Rosa should not be worried, but there are women who get leaks. And I want to say that there are people, because of, we don't want to have shame of um, menopausal issues, we don't want shame of a period. And my, Mr. Speaker, I am saying this because I've been sitting here today listening patiently to the men talking about sanitary towels that is in the finance bill. And they are speaking with authority. If we wanted to save money uh, 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 the, the way the finance committee has done, and want to tax anything else, go and tax men uh, 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 in our house. Go and wear tax men in our ears. Don't speak on our issues as women. Let us be the one to speak about sanitary towels. We are the ones who know what, want, what works for us. And you are saying we want to encourage the local manufacturing. While you are waiting to, manu to, to, create, to enable our local manufacturing um, agencies to create those, uh, those uh, sanitary towels, will we tell our uh, periods to stop? Our periods will not stop while you are manufacturing. Our girls will have their menses as usual, and the cost that they are used to will be higher because that will come through underground. What I am saying is, Mr. Speaker, I do not support the finance bill. Mr. Speaker, if you are taxing digital content, Mr. Speaker, this girl has gone to town. 
I can tell you after this, Rachel Nyamai, myself and others will be on TikTok. The girls will be imitating us on TikTok. And they will be making money imitating us on TikTok. And then under this tax, we are telling them we are taxing you TikTok. Why? They are doing that because there are no jobs. They have become innovative and look for their own jobs. And after they have got to their own jobs, an industry that has not solidified, like teaching, like law, we want to kill that industry that is helping our young people. That is why the Gen Zs were on the streets. And Mr. Speaker, I'm so thrilled that I was shown a photo of a young girl who looks like me, and some people were saying, Millie, we can see you are here now, you can retire. And I wish she was in my constituency, I would have retired tomorrow. And Mr. Speaker, yesterday, my own niece, who I am the one who has raised since she was in primary school, she's lived in my house. I was with her. And I tried all the means to try and divert her attention from what was going. How she managed to sneak in, and this morning she's telling me, and Mr. Speaker, before I got to what she was telling me, I told her, can I give you a lift to town? She told me, no, auntie. I cannot be associated with members of parliament. You are generation, you have messed this country. We have to fix it, Gen Z. If we do not un un take Tuesday, Super Tuesday, as a wake-up call as a country, I don't know what else will take up as a wake-up call as a country. And I want to tell the president, who I served with in the same committee in parliament, who was my classmate in the university, Fire those guys that you have hired who are giving you economic advice. They are not helping you at all. How do you even imagine bringing something like taxing bread, even if it is as a joke? That is a joke carried too far. That is a joke carried too far. You can crack doctors just elsewhere. You can find a situation where the young people have burned the country based on your joke. Try those jokes elsewhere. Oh, my father.